There we go. Just gonna blow up some uh, vehicles while we're at it. Because these guys actually level up with you. I don't know why, but the uh, the vehicles... Oh, actually, the rest of these enemies actually level up as well. Interesting. But, I'm actually killing spider ants for some reason. That's probably one of the other quests. There he goes. And that's that. We'll kill the spider ants while we're going. But I think I need to... Uh, Get out to strap the dynamite on here, right? There we go. Dynamite one. Hop back up, cause this is gonna be awesome. Yep, I'm going. I'm going. There we go. I'm back. Hodunk Speedway, most largest tire. Now slap that zapper in the jail. There we go. And I disappear. I'm just gonna do this. Preparing to strike. You fell for the trap. There we go. Firing at a mere mirage. You deserve your fate. O okay, Zero, take it easy, buddy. Huh? There we go. Sabotage the I Holy Spirits. Off. Papa Jimbo sees the disgusting Zafford emblem and he accepts your challenge, Mick Zafford. The seas will run green with Zafford blood. There we go. Dr. Hodunk backing in. Ooh, haven't heard Jimbo that angry since the time he heard my family was leaving his dumbass clan. <clears throat> Mama didn't want to raise Scooter and me alongside a bunch of morons who'd sooner eat a baby than help raise one. Bad, and one time Jimbo told Moxie to kill some dude or they was going to turn me into the clan wife. She wasn't having none of that. So, yeah. But I'm still not bad. Bad. Why don't you go to the Holy Spirit's bar out near Overlook and blow their crap up too? There we go. The Holy Spirit bar right next to Overlook. And we've been there already. So that's the second part of this quest. We'll do that in a second. But first I want to do Mordecai's quest in here. Since we're still in the dust. Hmm. I'm wondering if I want to do the caravan right now. Since I'm actually better equipped than I was before. Just so I can show you that a bit. Bye. I love how that explodes. I think the caravan is supposed to be over... Here, there it is. There it is. Let's try. Might as well blow up, but at least we tried. That's that guy. And then the second caravan export. There we go. We can now rob this guy of the caravan. Open up the weapons chest on top of it. And then we got, hmm, slag grenade. Let's all try that. There we go. That's a caravan robbed. And now we can head back in and find Carson. So Carson is hiding in the bandit camp where those volleyball dudes were also hiding. If you remember those. So we need to head back up here and jump into the bandit camp again. You know what this bandit camp is all about, so I'm not going to show you this again. So I'll see you guys in a second. I'm going to show you this though, leveled up. Going uh, the melee route a bit more than uh, I usually do. There we go, cleared out the camp again, so I'm just going to head down, which is where Carson is probably hiding his... Ooh, Carson kind of died. Hello buddy. Ooh, there's still guys here. I'm just going to... Also a few grenades over there. Get on your knee. Just gonna take this guy out the old-fashioned way. With the Jacobs. There we go. There we go. Seems like Ooh. Carson died. Where's the chest, Carson? What was that noise? It sounded like some Hyperion screw trying to pump me for info. Didn't it sound like that, brother? Sure did, brother. Why don't you... <laughs> Mavis, no! Gettle's after the treasure, too? Crap. He's a Hyperion goon, more bent than a boomerang. He probably took Carson to the Hyperion <laughs> friendship gulag. <laughs> and there we go. So now we need to get uh, Carson from the friendship gulag, which is an area that is only there for this side quest or... 
if you don't manage to get uh, Roland out from the Warden at the top of the dam in time, you actually need to go to the Friendship Gulag as well to free Roland from over there. So there we go. Two quests in the dust and none of them completed because we need to go to different areas to actually get there. But let's open up the weapons chest and then we'll get to, well, on our way to the next quest. So back to the other side of the dust, you can actually get up here, which is the entrance to the Friendship Gulag. There we go, Friendship Gulag. So this is Hyperion territory, so we need to get, uh, well, the corrosive guns out. But first, we have a skill point to assign, and I want to put that skill point into the backstab skill. One point, and there we get access to Resurgence next time. So that's going to come in nice. Just going to check out if there's anything over here. No grenade mold and no stuff, but I can sell a few things. There we go, all ready to head into the Friendship Gulag, which looks uh, really, really futuristic. And there's a whole lot of dudes in here. Just gonna grab that, because that just spawns corrosive stuff. I think he's dead, there he goes. Yeah, he's throwing a grenade, isn't he? There we go, still... Loaders are still the same, we still need to do the same. Just take out the arms, take out a few things. And uh, see that they're completely disassembled. There's something behind me, for sake. Hello, buddy. You're a brave little loaded, aren't you? Wait, why is there one right on top of me? Ah. There we go. I think there's one freaking out. Don't know what this one's just doing there, but... The gun I'm using actually has projectiles, so it takes them a while for it to get there. Would love those projectiles to be a bit faster, which you can do with uh, Zero's ability. He actually has an ability that increases the projectile speed of uh, weapons like this. There we go. Got him in midair there. Bit of a lucky, lucky shot, but uh, yeah, this is a prison. It's a really, really futuristic looking prison, but it's still a prison, so we need to uh, keep an eye out for all security. Yeah, loser bandit. I love the noises these guys make. What the hell, dude? Arm off. There we go. Just gonna take a second, because uh, I feel like a lot of them have been uh, spawning. Let's go with the, J the Jacob's gun. Okay. There we go. I got corrosive on my ass there, but... Zoom! Ow. Maybe I should just die. There we go. And just take off the arm and take off the... I Can I actually melee while... I really care. I can melee, but I was not close enough. Let's just do this, and attack this guy in the face. So again, these guys work for Hyperion, and they just they just feel like we're bandits. For them, we are the bad guys. Not just metaphorical bad guys, we are actually are the bad guys. Oh god. So Warloaders actually have the ability to do fire damage if they heat up their guns. Don't know how that works. There we go. We need to be careful because I think there's one guy in the back that actually does slag damage. There we go. 
Where's the surveyor? There it is. Oh god. Ah, oh, that's not gonna end well. Ooh, get my shield back a bit. He did manage to hit me there, though. I kicked the loader, I kicked the loader. And then this guy down. Did this grenade actually drop or not? Oh, you nasty little thing. There we go. Okay. So, hello Carson. Seems like he died. How the hell am I gonna get that? There we go. There we go. Let's open up the weapons chest. Which could hold something nice, but it doesn't. It does not. Could grab all those. You know what? Let's just grab all those. Just to sell them off. I think can I... Try. Okay. <laughs> that seems a bit too easy. You'll break us out of here if I tell you. Right, Mobley? Of course. I'm your pal, Carson. Now where's that chest? The flats. Buried under a grave. So when do we bust out of here? Carson's dead? <laughs> no surprises there. I've heard of that Mobley guy. Small time bandit. Dangerous. <laughs> So, another bandit. So the stash has moved again. The goalpost has moved for us again. There's another chest over there. Just saw that. Just saw that. There we go. Don't mind if I do. Might be something nice. Ooh, another. Another almost exact replica of my sniper rifle. But with worse stats, so just gonna grab it to sell, but and that's about it in here, isn't it? So we need to head out again to another area if you want to find that stash. But that's basically friendship gulag. I don't think I have any need to stay here. Because you know. You know. That was the only question here, and uh we need to move further even to get that stash. So uh let's head to the next area. And I was actually going the complete wrong direction because this area is only accessible, just remember, this area is only accessible through the back of Ali's garage. We can go over here, which is an area you otherwise wouldn't even check out. But it has a few spider ants, sadly. And we're gonna have to work our way through this area if you wanna go find that stash. And there we go. The more spider ants to kill, well, the less spider ants alive, the better, I suppose. There we go, he's down. They actually give a lot of experience. And then we have this little shack over here. I'm gonna check that out in a second, because I think that also contains some loot. But if we go up here, we can actually find Mordecai's stash, which might actually have some nice weapons. Boot Hill. I haven't found the stash yet. Dig up the stash. There, there, there is a stash. Is, it, is this the stash? Finally! I've been waiting in that church for hours for someone to dig it up in case it was booby trapped. Now hand it over! What? Get away from the stash, bandits! Damn it, Vault Hunter! You led that Hyperion jackass here! You bandits, <laughs> put down your guns and move back from the stash now! Better idea, jackass. We all draw when the church bell rings for the third time. A truck can stand off? Fine. One, two, three. Draw! Okay, there we go. Let's just let these guys kill one another. There we go, that's cattle down and then Mobley. And there goes Mobley. And that's 5,000 experience in one go. So let's open up the stash. Whoa, there we go. Kill Gettle and Mobley Don of the three treasure hunters searching for Mordecai's lost chest. You emerge victorious. Good on ya. And we get another Congrats. artifact for our trouble. Moxie's endowment. So that increases our XP gain from combat by 5.9%, which is actually nice. 
Uh, there's a few things in here, but I don't think... Ooh, this is nice, though. That's a lot better of a slag sniper rifle. Let's swap it over to that. And it's not burst for once. Which is good. And then the onslaught rifle and the leather scatter gun. Not gonna take that. Although I might actually just take it to sell. There we go. And that's it. The Wild West quest done. So we got Mordecai's treasure chest. Ooh. Ah, already got it apparently. But I might as well just sell that later on. With that done, we'll be heading towards the Highlands to take off a few side quests over there. So see you guys there in a second. So, we're back in the Highlands at Overlook, where we, uh, you know, where we placed this uh, fast travel station so we could get back to Sanctuary before. But if you remember the story about Overlook, uh, these the people living here were actually sick. So we need to check on Overlook with our current side quest. And there's actually another thing we can do here, because we can start uh, Ali's clan war right over here as well. So let's just... Check on the people here first, since we're on the uh, the upside of the town. I think we can do that right here. Oh. Yeah, let's just knock on the door. Hello. Given the skill with which you dispatch those r robots, we of the town of Overlook thought you might give us a hand, so to speak. Okay. So first item on the agenda, we're all dying of a brain disease. If you could get us three shipments of medication, we would live, which uh, would allow me to keep paying you. Our m medicine machine needs a new battery. Please climb the clock tower ladder and remove the clock's battery. There we go. So uh, now we need to get <laughs> the power supply up there in the uh, the awesome looking clock, because I really like the design of uh, Overlook. It's... Uh, <gasps> Really, really good, uh, nicely made town. Um, but how do, how do, I, how do I even get there? Oh, the ladder, the ladder. She told me, she told me I need to listen to the poor sick woman. So let's climb the ladder over here. Then probably on the other side. No. Oh God. Now what? Ah, oh, there it is. This doesn't seem like it's really, really handy to do. I don't see anybody else jumping around here. Oh god. Still can't mantle. So waiting for Borderlands 3. Oh, there's a ladder over there. I'm an idiot. There we go. And then we can get the power supply, which is kind of jerry-rigged into the whole system. Um, can I? There we go. Warning, do not touch. Dave. I touched it. Now we can repair the medical dispensary. Oh, damn it, some jackhole broke the clock tower. You found the battery. <clears throat> Plug it into our medicine machine and buy some skull shiver medication, P please. Once I find out who thought we needed a running clock more badly than we needed shiver medication, they will be thoroughly reprimanded. Well, Karima, it was Dave. So please reprimand Dave. There we go. Prepared the med shop and let's buy the medicine over here. Medicine for the skull shivers tends to stop your skull from shivering. There we go. And it's made by Hyperion as well. And for some reason, it's just okay, right outside. Okay, two more medicine shipments. The next is carried by a traveling Hyperion requisition officer wandering the highlands. Get the medicine from him. Without I his will. Guards, I'm sure the salesman will give you a good price for his medicine. I suggest killing them politely, if possible. Okay, well, we'll try to do that politely. I'm also going to check out this quest. Uh, there's actually two here, so arms dealing. I just ordered some serious merchandise from an arms dealer. Man's got to protect his business after all. I'm going to need you to pick up the shipments quick as you can. So there we go, that's another uh, shipment quest. I'm not going to do that just yet. But we also have Stalker of Stalkers. An old boyfriend of mine named of Taggart was hired to wipe out the stalker population a while back. He also, adorably, tried to write a book about his adventures in the Highlands. You find the chapters of his book, and I'll plagiarize the living daylights out of them for mine. Win, 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 as they say. Hyperion Nobody congratulates Harriet Lavis on the birth of her And there we go. That's the quest I really want to do, because the reward for that is really, really handy for our build. But, ooh, there's a rocket launcher in here. The Gadunk Gaboom. 
God Dunkaboom. I'm just gonna leave it there. I have I have plenty of cool weapons at the moment, so I don't think I really need uh, something fancy now. But I'm gonna quickly set my quest to the correct one again. You're near the Holy Spirit. There we go. That's we also activate Ali's quest by accident. Boy, are they gonna be pissed when they see what we got in store for him? There's one real easy way to piss off a Zephyr. Destroy their liquor. Just put those charges on the distillery and start running. There we go, we can place some dynamite over here. This is gonna be awesome. And there we go, the distillery is gonna go boom in a second. 3, 2, 1, kablamo! Well, gotta do is play both sides against the middle and see who comes out on top. <laughs> Should be fun. So right now we need to place the Safford symbol around here somewhere, probably. There we go, we need to put it right here, apparently. What's going on out there? Piss on me eyes. It's not the whole dunk emblem I see. Them bastards broke the truce. Your rednecks will regret messing with Mick Safford. <laughs> he sounds pissed. I bet he's already got a plan to strike back against the hodunks and he'll need the help of somebody like you. I'm calling all gun hands to help me stamp out the hodunks. I pay in blood, booze, and bullets. Come to the Holy Spirit's bar. There we go. So now we can actually respond to Zafrid's call. Oh, I'm accidentally also doing Haggard's, well, uh, uh, Hammerlock's quest with the, the, yeah, Taggart. That was his name. The echo recorders of Taggart. A huntsman, Eddie P. Taggart. So let's listen to that as well. Chapter one. Today, I punched a stalker so hard it turned inside out. End of chapter one. There we go. It's a known fact that stalkers find echo recorders delicious. You'll likely find the rest of Taggart's chapters within piles of stalker defecation. Okay, but we were doing the Medicine Man quest. So we're kind of getting distracted here. There we go. Put that back where it belongs. And now we can go and ambush that Hyperion man. And we need to kindly kill him. Emphasis on kindly kill him. There's the requisition officer. Hi! <laughs> Did he just fly up? What the hell just happened? There we go. There's more uh, more where that came from. I'm just gonna quickly kill the loaders. There we go. There we go. Easy peasy. Let's open that up. Because that's another uh, medical supply station. And get that. Great. You're very efficient. I respect that. The last medicine shipment was being delivered by boat, but we lost contact. Find it, please. So, the last one was delivered by boat, but uh, never made it to Overlook again. So those poor people are still dying. Which means we need to take a look. Because the Highlands is actually one of the bigger areas in the game. Uh, it's a big, wide-open air. I think it's supposed to be down here. I don't think it's on the bridge. Because, of course, by boat means it's probably by the water somewhere. There we go. There's another... Oh! Treasure! So we fought one treasure before. Oh, God! Jesus Christ! That's a big one. There we go. Let's kill those off. Probably gonna be more where that came from. There's on the beach. If there's a few on the beach. And then uh, one over here. I'm just gonna stay in the car. I feel a bit safer in the car. There's a slaggy one over there. We did all in the water. There we go. Cleared out the area. I think I thought I heard another project. I, I do hear another projectile. Oh, it's in the in the water over there. And got through that. There we go. And that's the shipment container. Probably was attacked by those treasures. Oh god, I forgot those things could actually jump like that. There we go. Let's open that up. Uh-oh. Well, we killed most of the treasures already. So unless there's one in there... Yeah, I don't, I don't think we really have a problem at the moment. There we go, let's just open that up. Got all the medicine. Efficient. Very efficient. Now please... Distribute that medicine around town. I do it myself, but Hyperion doesn't doesn't like it when we leave our homes. 
there we go so that should be enough medicine for for some reason she doesn't want to do it herself which is kind of weird but hey we've seen weirder in this uh in this game so let's just uh head back to overlook but not before we get another taggered echo recorder chapter two jack wasn't kidding these stalker things are something i pounded one right in the throat with my thumb <laughs> in her, just like mom taught me and it pretty much exploded it made this hilarious noise like <laughs> <laughs> I should make it my ringtone. I don't think Hammerlock is going to be able to use stuff like that. There's not the one in here, so I'm going to have to move a bit further for the rest of the audio recorders. So, back at Overlook, let's just deliver the medicine at all the houses over here. So there's one over here. Please shut down the grinder before attempting to clean its gears. That's two. And Hyperion is still giving us uh, propaganda across the mics. But uh, we have this last house over here. Let's dump that in you. here. You can bring me medicine all day. It don't make you less of a stag sucker. Sorry about Dave. He's a... Uh, we try not to talk to him. Return to me for your agreed upon reward. Did, did we actually agree upon a reward? Because I'm not, I'm not sure about that. But I mean, I was happy to help. So we need to go K K Karima. I think her name was Karima. There we go. Karima. Overlook's residents now have enough skull shiver medication to keep them from stuttering and or blacking out and or dying for the rest of the year. If I had ten people like you, this town would be running like clockwork. But now, of course, Overlook needs to be protected from Hyperion because we cured their disease, but Hyperion is Overlook still a problem. Now that our brains aren't going to rot from the inside, let's move on to point two on my agenda. Revolt. If we are to shake off Hyperion control, the town will need a shield like sanctuaries to protect it from moonshot blitzes. If you could donate some shields to the town, I could scavenge them and build us a shield. There we go. So we need to drop shields into the grinder and then pick up the shield cores that the grinder actually pulls out. We can do this rather quickly, I think, if we just buy a few shields from the med station. I think that's probably the easiest way of doing this. So there's only two in this one. And I'm actually full. My inventory is full. So I cleared out my inventory a bit and brought two. So let's just stand in front of the grinder and then drop the shields right into there. So drop and drop. So that's going to go in here. Yes, just like that. A few more shields and I'll be able to build us a defense shield out of the parts. I was a computer engineer before Overlook's old administrator died and left me in charge. So there we go. She was an engineer, so she definitely has the skills to do this. Karima? There we go. Friend, there's a barrier to Now, if you tell me someone like this a bad old snake, which one will we call you? And there we go. Your is appreciated, David. David is still being a dick. So let's get our second part. I don't know if that triggers any more dialogue. It doesn't seem to. So I'm going to have to uh, look around for more shields, but uh, we'll keep that in mind. Next time on Borderlands 2, we become an arms dealer. That arm must belong to a seamstress or something. Tell something that's 